I've spent a lot of time dividing my customers into types and classes. I've created lots of income and expense accounts so that I can see where my money's going. All that set up in the beginning and all the order of QuickBooks comes to fruition when it's time to run a report. And that's when you can truly see the big picture of how your business is doing. While you can create your own custom reports, and I'll show you how in a later video, QuickBooks comes with some built-in reports that you can use immediately in the Report Center by selecting Reports and then choosing Report Center. Report types are categorized so that you can find the report you need quickly, such as company and financial, customers, sales, jobs, time and mileage, vendors, inventory, banking, even special reports that you can run to help out your accountant and at tax time. The built-in reports come in two types. Standard, as you can see here on the right, which contains a summary of the final figures, and Detail which includes each line item transaction that got you to that end summary figure. Furthermore, you can customize the date range to which you want the data included on your report, such as last week, this month, quarter, year. You can even customize a specific range. So I'll select a profit and loss standard report and get into it by double clicking on the built-in report. Now that I'm in the report, I can even filter the view further by only including certain data such as customer types. In this case, it didn't show any data, so I'm going to bring it back to all the views. You can even add columns to your view. Now, while you're looking at the report data, when you see a magnifying glass, you can click to view detailed information about the, where the report figures came from. And from here, you can even drill down further to go right to the source transaction, such as an invoice. You can add a report as a favorite. You can memorize the report. You can print it for your accountant, and you can even export it to your spreadsheet software for further processing. So that's the basis of how reports work in QuickBooks. In this chapter, I'm going to show you how to work with reports in detail. So let's get started.